Right now on Apple Valley News Now at 6, we take a look at some of the biggest fires affecting our region, the evacuation, the road closures, and how it's all affecting your air quality. The air quality especially bad in Yakima County. I'll tell you why, coming up. I'm Monica Ledesma with Apple Valley News Now. Coming up, find out what inspired Lindsay to fly an A-10 aircraft and when you can catch her in action this weekend at Waterfallies. All that and more coming, coming up. up. And air quality, the story that we're talking about, it started to break up a little bit in Yakima so far, but still pretty serious as wildfires continue to rage across the region. We'll have the details coming up. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6 on your side. Good Thursday evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Austin Reed. And I'm Alyssa Warner. The retreat fire has burned through about 13,000 acres, about 14 miles southwest of Natchez, and has caused widespread evacuation notices in the area. Yeah, Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us it has also caused major disruptions to traffic. The fire has shut down Highway 12 from the Y all the way up to the summit of White Pass, a big concern for first responders. According to the Natchez Fire Department, the fire is burning down both sides of the highway toward the Y and to the east over the hill towards Tyaton in the French Canyon area. Large rocks, snags, and burnt logs have rolled down to block the roadway and firefighters actively fighting the fire on the highway. That means Natchez Fire, usually the closest agency, won't be able to respond to emergencies up on Rimrock Lake and above. They say, quote, Packwood Fire has been contacted and they are able to assist with calls in that area, but their response time is long, just simply because they have to drive into the area from Packwood. Please, please be very careful if you are in in that area. A temporary flight restriction is also in place, so flying in medical helicopters is a longer process for medical emergencies. More than 100 personnel on scene to fight the fire from the ground and the air. The National Guard has been mobilized and provided us with an additional Black Hawk helicopter for water drops. Winds driving the spread of the fire, the area difficult for firefighters to traverse on the ground. Crews are working as hard as they can uh, within that challenging terrain, uh, utilizing heavy equipment and airdrops. Unfortunately, two structures uh, have been lost and crews are actively engaged in structure protection. According to the Northwest Coordination Center, the fire was human caused. DNR officials are on scene to investigate. In Natchez, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. And fire investigators are asking for your help to locate someone they believe may have important information about the Black Canyon fire. That fire is burning northwest of Natchez. It's burned over 11,000 acres. The cause is undetermined, but after speaking to witnesses, officials say they are looking to speak with the driver of an early 90s blue Ford Escort or Mercury Tracer. That car was spotted about 7 p.m. Monday in the Black Canyon area, about 20 minutes before the fire was reported. Anyone with information or a potentially witness to that vehicle in the area, please get a hold of our DNR wildland fire investigators. Now you can reach the DNR wildland fire, fire investigator Bruce Long at Bruce Long, excuse me, Bruce dot Long at DNR dot wa dot gov. And all new from the Downtown Association of Yakima for the safety of residents and bands, the city has decided that they are canceling downtown summer nights tonight due to the air quality index being so close to 200. Officials say the health and well-being of their attendees, performers, volunteers and vendors are top priority. They hope to invite everyone back next week. Let's get a first look at the forecast now. Yeah, Riley Fitzgerald is in for Stacy tonight. You've got that update on the air quality, Riley. Yes, so we can see this is Yakima from a, ta a, a tandem ridge and some of it has started to lift. We couldn't see those peaks a little earlier on this evening, but we're starting to see some of it. But uh, smoke and haze is very significant across much of our region. So let's take a look at what's ahead. We've got continued smoke from these wildfires. Hot temps are on a little bit of a break tonight, and we're also seeing the wind settles down as we get to our evening. Let's take a look at our temperatures really quick, mostly upper 70s, lower 80s across the forecast. This is a little lower than we thought it'd be. Could be because of all of that smoke bringing our temperatures down a little bit. On the forecast for tomorrow, mostly mid 80s, hazy 
breezy conditions from that wildfire smoke, mid 80s in the Tri-Cities as well. Walla Walla will see mid 80s for our highs as well. Let's take a quick peek at our current air quality. It's mostly unhealthy across the region, specifically in that Yakima County area. We'll have more details about the air quality and weather alerts coming up in my full forecast. Riley, we appreciate that. Continuing coverage now on some of the other fires affecting our region, including air quality, evacuations, and road closures. Let's start, though, over in Klickitat County on the Bighorn Fire. Well, this fire has burned nearly 33,000 acres and is just 5% contained as of last check. Throughout the region, there are evacuation levels of one, two, and three. As always, we have those updated zones on our website. The evacuation center is located at Patterson Elementary School on Pryor Avenue in Patterson. Now, the Lone Rock Fire in Morrow County, Oregon, has now burned more than 136,000 acres and is 40% contained. This fire has also prompted level one, two, and three evacuation levels. The city of Spray is under level three go now evacuations. Highway 19 has reopened, but you will need to follow a pilot car escort. The Durkee Fire is now the biggest active wildfire in the United States. It is located in Baker County and has burned 268,000 acres. Right now, at last check, it's 20% contained. The Fire Edge is seven miles from Baker City, and crews continue to attack from the ground and air in an effort to contain it. All three evacuation levels remain throughout the region. Of course, stay with us online for updates on this fire. Now, the power line road fire has triggered evacuation levels for people who live in and around Milton Freewater this evening. The fire started around 2 this afternoon. It's about 10 miles southeast of Walla Walla in Umatilla County, Oregon. Umatilla County has issued a level 2 get set evacuation level for North Fork of Walla Walla River drainage and for the area of Spofford Road and Walla Walla River Road. Again, that is a level 2 get set evacuation level. We've been talking about this for weeks. A quick reminder, we are on your side throughout fire season 2024. Stay with us on air and online for continuing coverage. And if you haven't done so just yet, make sure to download our app for alerts when a fire comes close to you. All right, switching gears here tonight, we are just hours away from one of the biggest annual events in the Tri-Cities. We're talking, of course, about the water follies. But new tonight, Washington State Patrol Troopers have detailed their plan for patrols. The department says they will cover both Benton and Franklin counties starting tonight, going through the end of the weekend. The state patrol emphasis will focus on speeding, DUI, aggressive driving, distracted driving, and seatbelt compliance. Additional troopers will be in the area of Columbia Park as well, and state patrol will be utilizing aircraft, motorcycles, and unmarked patrol cars. The U.S. Department of Energy announced today that it will enter into realty negotiations with Hecate Energy LLC for a solar project capable of delivering up to a gigawatt of clean energy within an 8,000 acre area of Department of Energy owned land at the Hanford site. This is all part of the Clean Up to Clean Energy initiative. The project aims to repurpose parts of DOE owned lands portions of which were previously used in the nation's nuclear weapons program to support the growth of the country's clean energy economy. Lawmakers say this project has the potential to benefit the Hanford site, tribal nations, and surrounding communities. Coming up next on Apple Valley News Now at 6, one western state is changing the way it handles homeless camps. And this comes as the city of Walla Walla is discussing how to handle homeless people sleeping on downtown sidewalks. And Riley will return with your forecast as we are tracking air quality and conditions for firefighters. We'll be right back. Welcome to Walker's Furniture's 44th anniversary sale where we are celebrating by offering savings up to 44% off. And get special financing for up to five years. This week at Walker's. I learned the value of hard work right here in these fields as my immigrant parents pick crops. I graduated from Yakima Valley College and Gonzaga, worked for Congress and the state legislature. Now I'm running for state Senate because we need someone who will fight for Central Washington. We're losing good paying jobs and warehouses are closing. I'm Maria Beltran and I ask for your vote because our best days are ahead of us. Paid for by friends Maria Beltran. Well, it's almost election time. 
Typical politicians trying to tell us they're conservative. Yeah, well, that's not Congressman Newhouse. He worked with the liberals to try to remove Trump. And don't get me started on that Sessler. He's not just a vegan. Sessler wants a 30% tax on everything we buy. Even my haircut. Even my beer. He wants 30% if I want to buy new land. So the choice is a never Trumper or a vegan. Tiffany Smiley. Oh, Smiley's the one. I really like her. MWSA Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertising. Let Quantum Legal protect you and be your champion on the legal battleground. Whether it's a fight for justice in the face of criminal accusations, personal injury claims, or workplace accidents, Quantum Legal is your unwavering ally. An aggressive offense is your greatest defense. Quantum Legal is the sword and shield you've been seeking. Your best defense, Quantum Legal. Tiffany Smiley is not who she says she is. Tiffany Smiley started a PAC claiming to raise money to support conservative candidates, but contributions were funneled to pay off her own million dollar campaign debt. Of the almost $800,000 she raised, only $24,800 went to candidates. Instead, Tiffany used the money on luxury travel and to try to pay off her massive debt. Tiffany Smiley deceived her donors. Don't let her deceive you. I'm Dan Newhouse, and I approve this message. Board-certified psychiatric nurse practitioner Stephen Stokes provides mental health care for patients 13 and older at Prosser Memorial Health's Benton City Clinic. His services include the assessment and treatment for mental health issues and psychiatric medication management. Your mental health is vital to your overall well-being. To schedule an appointment with Stephen Stokes, call the Benton City Clinic at 509-588-4075. This is how we care. I'm Jared Sessler, a Navy veteran, job creator, candidate for Congress, and I approve this message. It was a great honor to receive President Trump's endorsement. And unlike my opponent, Dan Newhouse, who joined Democrats to impeach President Trump, I'll be a strong ally for the MAGA agenda. But an even greater honor would be to earn your support. I took an oath to this country when I began my military service and I kept it. And I'm asking for your vote so I can take that oath once more in serving Congress as the conservative we deserve. The Golf Forecast, sponsored by the Wild Horse Ladies Golf Classic, August 12th through the 18th. Welcome back. The Walla Walla City Council has voted to approve changes to the rules about sleeping on downtown sidewalks. Council members unanimously approved a proposal to ban people from sleeping on downtown sidewalks between the hours of 7 a.m. and 9 p.m. from April to October. Now those hours change from 9 to 5 in March and November and 9 to 4 during the winter as long as shelter space is available. Well, listen to this. Today, California Governor Gavin Newsom issued an executive order for state officials to take down thousands of homeless encampments. This comes after the Supreme Court ruled in favor of the city of Grants Pass in Oregon that ticketed homeless people for sleeping outside. Newsom's order says that the camps are dangerous and directed agencies to support and assist the people living in them in a humane and dignified manner, according to officials. In San Francisco, officials there say they have started clearing encampments and are now helping bring more homeless people indoors. Here in Washington, last week, the Department of Children, Youth and Families moved 43 young adults out of the juvenile detention center and into a correction facility for adults. A new ruling was issued requiring that the youth be moved back to juvenile detention facilities within 14 calendar days. Now, the DCYF was trying to deal with an overpopulation situation in the juvenile centers, such as a, a facility in Lewis County that was 30 percent over capacity. The state will plead their case Friday with a final hearing that should take place before the date the inmates are currently ordered to be put back in the juvenile detention center. Well, today, the U.S. Senate overwhelmingly voted by a vote of 86 to 1 to advance the Children and Teens Online Privacy Protection Act and the Kids Online Safety Act. This now clears the way for final passage next week. U.S. Senator Maria Cantwell was instrumental in crafting the package as chair of the Senate Committee on Commerce, Science and Transportation. She spoke on the Senate floor ahead of today's vote. So it basically is saying to these social media companies, you cannot get away with just saying, I didn't know. You have to do a better job of understanding exactly where these advertisers are coming from, who they're targeting, and if you're helping to target these kids. But we're not going to let you target kids 
16 and under. According to a Harvard University study, social media companies generated $11 billion in revenue from advertising directing at children and teens. In 2022, including nearly $2 billion in ad revenue derived from users ages 12 and under. A new complex in the Southridge neighborhood of Kennewick is now official. Work at the site is already underway across the street from Southridge High School and Trios Hospital. The complex will hold 126 apartments, 20 townhomes, and multiple amenities. Now, the townhomes will be live-work residences where you can live above a commercial space. A year-round food truck pavilion is planned, and it is open to the public. About 75% of the subcontractors, we're told, are also local. Organizers say they've been trying to work closely with the community. Uh, we have a great relationship with the high school. We're working with a hospital right now. Um, everybody's just been wide open, fantastic to work with. And organizers tell us they chose to include more green spaces rather than more apartments. The first ones are expected to open in the summer of 2025. All right, Apple Valley News Now's Restaurant Showdown still looking for the area's best restaurant. We started about two weeks ago with 64 places, and after two rounds and thousands of votes, only 16 restaurants remain. Here's how to get in on the fun. Scan the QR code on your screen to vote using your mobile or click on contests at applevalleynewsnow.com and select restaurant showdown to vote on your laptop or desktop. After voting, be sure to enter to win a $25 gift card from STCU. More information, just go to our website, applevalleynewsnow.com and good luck. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Riley Fitzgerald. Happy Thursday, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day. We have quite the bit of smoke in the Yakima area. This is from Atanum Ridge in Yakima. As I said on our sky cam, some of this smoke has started to clear up a little bit. We could not see the other mountain in the distance just 30 minutes ago. So happy to see that some of it is maybe starting to get out of that area. What's ahead for our forecast? Continued smoke as wildfires rage across the region. Our hot temps are on a little bit of a break tonight and our wind is settling down as we get into this evening. Taking a look first at our air quality, we see unhealthy air conditions in the Yakima County for the most part, even popping into Hanford and further into Klickitat County. So we are seeing for people who are in the more uh, uh, sensitive groups to smoke and bad air quality, perhaps stay inside. Definitely stay safe because a lot of us are in that unhealthy zone uh, tonight. Let's take a look, a wider look. We have more wildfires raging around the region. A lot of this area is in yellow in that moderate zone, so be sure to stay safe out there. Taking a closer look, we'll transition into our various weather alerts across the region. We have an air quality watch through a lot of us, Yakima County, Benton County, into Morrow and Umatilla as well. This is from wildfire smoke causing unhealthy air quality. This is lasting until five o'clock tomorrow, but it could extend past that if wildfires continue to burn, continue to bring smoke into our areas. Moving forward on to this fire weather warning. It's mostly for the lower Palouse and Snake River areas lasting until nine o'clock tonight. This is from strong winds, low humidity and warm temperatures that will aid fire behavior, cause more fires, spread fires even further. Let's take a look at our future cast this evening as we make our way into tonight and tomorrow morning. Possibly some clouds popping up tomorrow afternoon, but then on their way out, I expect a lot of sunny skies over the next couple of days, but clouds are at least slightly on the forecast over tomorrow and into the start of your weekend. Futurecast for your wind speeds settling down as we make our way into this evening and Friday, picking up a little bit in the Yakima area, but other than that, staying mostly on the low side for the rest of us. On our temperatures right now, mostly in the mid to upper 70s, lower 80s. This is lower than we thought we were going to be for this time of the week, but because of a lot of haze in the air, perhaps lower than we had expected. So lower 80s, pretty nice outside, if not for the wildfire smoke that's affecting a lot of us. 
tonight, brisk conditions to, to say the least. We're seeing upper 40s, mid to upper 40s and some lower 50s as well. So maybe a little cooler than we're used to. Smoke will linger in the air as well this evening. Tomorrow, cooler, more haze, smoky sunshine, but we're seeing mid to lower 80s. So definitely lower than we saw last week in the triple digits. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast now. Pretty nice over the next couple of days. Seasonal temps a little bit possibly even lower than average, mostly upper 80s into the mid 80s on Tuesday, but then we're back up to the upper 90s by this time next week. Hazy conditions for tomorrow that could last through the weekend. That depends on how these fires continue to burn. Heading into our weekend for the Tri-Cities, nice conditions, upper 80s, lower 90s. If you're heading out to the water follies, great conditions, but if you're in those sensitive groups to smoke, be careful if you're heading outside this weekend into the next week. We're looking pretty nice as well, but by Thursday we could start to pick up a little bit. Seven day forecast in Walla Walla, very similar upper 80s through the weekend, looking very nice, but could pop up starting Thursday. So today be sure to stay safe. There's a lot of smoke in the air, a little cooler than we're used to, but still very warm conditions out there. Have a great Thursday. I'll send it back to you too. Thanks, Riley. Now, coming up next on Apple Valley News Now at 6, more Americans are buying guns for protection. We'll take a look at the new numbers when we return. And now for something totally different. Hi, it's Carrie Isaacson, and I'm running for the Senate seat from the 16th District. I'm standing up for our way of life in this part of Southeast Washington, in our towns, suburbs, and farms. Ballots are due August 6th. You were sent one. Use it. Please vote for me. Visit my website at electcarryisaacson.com. Thanks. Paid for by Elect Carry Isaacson, Democrat. Bath fitter does showers? That's right. We offer a wide selection of beautiful and functional showers in all shapes and sizes. We can even convert your bath into a shower. How about that? With our seamless one-piece walls and hundreds of design options, you'll get a beautiful new shower to fit your needs. Guaranteed for life. Bath fitter's been around for 40 years, and we've been experts at showers for just as long. Get yours today. Bath fitter. It just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. I have worked with Senator Curtis King for the past two years, and I know how much he cares about the constituents in his district. He is well respected by both parties. He is results oriented, and he works very hard for the district. We gotta elect Curtis King. He has a proven record. We're very lucky to have him as a representative in the Senate. There is no better candidate for the job than Senator Curtis King. I'm Senator Curtis King, and I'd appreciate your support. Thank you. Board-certified family medicine provider, Dr. Michael Adling, is now caring for patients of all ages at Prosser Memorial Health's Benton City Clinic. His services include annual physicals and preventative care, well child exams, the treatment of cold and flu, acute illnesses, and more. To schedule an appointment with Dr. Adling, call the Benton City Clinic at 509-588-4075. Or to learn more about his services, visit prosserhealth.org. This is how we care. I learned the value of hard work right here in these fields as my immigrant parents picked crops. I graduated from Yakima Valley College and Gonzaga, worked for Congress and the state legislature. Now I'm running for state senate because we need someone who will fight for central Washington. We're losing good paying jobs and warehouses are closing. I'm Maria Beltran, and I ask for your vote because our best days are ahead of us. Paid for my friends Maria Beltran. It's the 44th anniversary sale at Walker's Furniture. This is one of our favorite events where we get to celebrate these great years with you. And that means friends and family pricing throughout the store with savings up to 44% off and get special financing for up to five years. So you can get it today and pay over time. From, From our family, family to yours. yours. We'd like to thank you for 44 wonderful years. 
Welcome back, everybody. Well, more Americans are owning guns for personal protection than ever before. That's according to a new survey. Gun sales surged during the COVID pandemic, as did gun-related deaths. Roughly 7.5 million American adults became new gun owners during the pandemic, and most of them had previously lived in a home without a gun, according to data from the 2021 National Firearms Survey. Now, in the new survey, which was published today in the Journal Injury Prevention, Nearly 80% said they were motivated, motivated to get a firearm for personal protection. A, uh, that, and that hasn't, uh, that's basically been rising over the past 25 years. Still ahead here at uh, 6 tonight, Columbia Basin College is celebrating after a grant is awarded. What the school plans to do with the money next. Newscasts anytime with Apple Valley Plus on Roku, Apple Fire, and Smart TVs. I have worked with Senator Curtis King for the past two years, and I know how much he cares about the constituents in his district. He is well respected by both parties. He is results oriented, and he works very hard for the district. We got to elect Curtis King. He has a proven record. We're very lucky to have him as a representative in the Senate. There is no better candidate for the job than Senator Curtis King. I'm Senator Curtis King, and I'd appreciate your support. Thank you workers and the families of deceased workers who worked at the Hanford site are now eligible for compensation for diseases and illnesses. This may be in addition to compensation already being received. Smart Law will be hosting a Hanford Workers' Compensation Educational Dinner at their Kennewick office Thursday, August 22nd at 6 p.m. To register, call 509-735-5555. Dinner provided. Smart Law, Smart Choice. I'm Jared Sessler, a Navy veteran, job creator, candidate for Congress, and I approve this message. It was a great honor to receive President Trump's endorsement, and unlike my opponent, Dan Newhouse, who joined Democrats to impeach President Trump, I'll be a strong ally for the MAGA agenda. But an even greater honor would be to earn your support. I took an oath to this country when I began my military service, and I kept it. And I'm asking for your vote so I can take that oath once more in serving Congress as the conservative we deserve. At Mattress Depot USA, we're sort of like matchmakers. We match your body needs and sleeping habits with the perfect mattress for you. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. An affordable, adjustable bed from Mattress Depot USA will help you sleep better. And help alleviate aches and pains, sleep apnea, and snoring. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Well, it's almost election time. Typical politicians trying to tell us they're conservative. Yeah, well, that's not Congressman Newhouse. He worked with the liberals to try to remove Trump. And don't get me started on that Sessler. He's not just a vegan. Sessler wants a 30% tax on everything we buy. Even my haircut. Even my beer. He wants 30% if I want to buy new land. So the choice is a never Trumper or a vegan. Tiffany Smiley. Oh, Smiley's the one. I really like her. MWSA Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertising. Tiffany Smiley is not who she says she is. Tiffany Smiley started a PAC claiming to raise money to support conservative candidates, but contributions were funneled to pay off her own million dollar campaign debt. Of the almost $800,000 she raised, only 24,800 went to candidates. Instead, Tiffany used the money on luxury travel and to try to pay off her massive debt. Tiffany Smiley deceived her donors. Don't let her deceive you. I'm Dan Newhouse, and I approve this message. Live, Sunday, September 15th, it's the Emmys. Find out who wins the year's top honors. All right, I have to put this down. I still don't have the strength. Ah, zing. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry. When television's biggest night comes to ABC. I love this part. And the Emmy, the Emmy. The Emmy goes to... Emmys, live Sunday, September 15th on ABC and next day on Hulu. Welcome back. Exciting news for Columbia Basin College. They recently received a grant from the National Science Foundation to enhance STEM course research. The college will be getting $200,000 to train instructors and focus on adding research experiences to classes. A chemistry professor at CBC tells us that kind of experience gives students a boost as they are preparing for STEM careers.
We will organize an undergraduate research symposium where all those students in this space, ideally, will be presenting their research to the whole campus. And a cool thing is we'll select the top five students from that research symposium and they will be funded to go and present their research at a regional conference. He says at the conference they'll be meeting with students and faculty members along with researchers from throughout the area to present their work. He also adds that this grant opens up the doors for CBC to apply for an even larger grant that would stretch over five years and be worth a million dollars. All right, coming up next on Apple Valley News Now, live at 630, the water follies is this weekend. Monique Ledesma will preview the big air show. The news at 630 starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now at 630 on your side. Welcome back, everybody. Continuing coverage now on some of the other fires impacting our region, including air quality, evacuations, and road closures. Let's start over in Klickitat County, though, on the Bighorn Fire. Yeah, so the, this fire has burned nearly 33,000 acres and is just 5% contained right now. Throughout the region, there are evacuation levels of 1, 2, and 3. We have the updated zones on our website. The evacuation center is located at Patterson Elementary School on Pryor Avenue in Patterson. And fire investigators are asking for your help to locate someone they believe may have important information about the Black Canyon fire. This one is burning northwest of Natchez. It's gone through over 11,000 acres so far. The cause is undetermined, but after speaking to witnesses, officials say they're looking to speak with the driver of an early 90s blue Ford Escort or Mercury Tracer. That was spotted about 7 p.m. Monday in the Black Canyon area, about 20 minutes before the fire started. You can reach DNR Wildland Fire Investigator Bruce Long at bruce.long at dnr.wa.gov. And the Lone Rock Fire in Morrow County has now burned more than 136,000 acres. It's 40 percent contained. This fire has also prompted level one, two, and three evacuation levels. The city of Spray is entirely under level three go now evacuations. Now, Highway 19 has reopened, but there is a pilot car escort. The Durkee Fire is the biggest active wildfire in the United States right now. It is located in Baker County and has burned 268,000 acres. Right now at last check, it's 20% contained. The fire edge is seven miles from Baker City and crews continue to attack from the ground and air in an effort to contain it. All three evacuation levels remain throughout the region. Of course, check back at applevalleynewsnow.com for the latest. Well, the power line road fire has triggered evacuation levels for people who live in and around Milton Freewater. Now, this fire started around 2 o'clock this afternoon. It's about 10 miles southeast of Walla Walla in Umatilla County. Umatilla County has issued a level 2 get set evacuation level for North Fork of Walla Walla River drainage and for the area of Spofford Road and Walla Walla River Road. This is again a level 2 get set evacuation level. All right, all right time to talk about our weather. Yeah, Riley Fitzgerald has been monitoring the air quality from all those wildfires all day. How are things looking tonight? Yeah, so we do still see a lot of smoke on the horizon, hazy conditions across much of our region. This is our Kennewick camera for Health First Urgent Care right above our Apple Valley News Now studio. So we see a lot of haze on the horizon and that's probably going to continue a little bit into the weekend as continued smoke rages from wildfires across the region. Our hot temps are on a break though, so that's a good thing and we do have our wind settling down a little bit tonight. Let's take a look at our temperatures right now, mostly in the mid to upper 70s and lower 80s on the cooler side this evening if you compare it to this time last week around triple digits. Here's tomorrow. For your Friday, mid 80s in the Yakima area. Tri Cities will see around the mid 80s as well. Hazy conditions across the region, mid 80s for Walla Walla. And here's a quick peek at our current air quality. It seems to be getting worse tonight. We see unhealthy most of the Yakima area, some of that mo uh, moderate, a lot of this yellow. We're going to take a, qu a closer look coming up in my full forecast, but for now, I'll send it back to you too. Thanks, Riley. A man in California has been arrested, accused of starting the state's biggest wildfire so far this year. That fire has burned more than 110 square miles. Michael Yoshida is tracking the latest for us tonight. The park fire in California exploding overnight, growing to more than 45,000 acres in just four hours, fueled by temperatures topping 100 degrees 
and wind gusts between 20 and 25 miles per hour. Besides, these embers are like dollar bills and they're hot. The fire has burned an average of 50 football fields per minute since it started Wednesday. Mandatory evacuations have been ordered in Butte County, where the state's deadliest wildfire, the Camp Fire, killed more than 80 people in 2018. Across the western United States, first responders are battling dozens of wildfires. In Oregon, the Durkee Fire remains the largest in the country, forcing some to evacuate. It wasn't a knock, it was a pound. A pound, 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 pound. Opened up the door. Get out now. Leave now. High temps, extremely dry conditions, and strong winds are fueling the fire, which has injured people and destroyed homes and other structures. The Red Cross has set up an evacuation center to provide displaced residents with food, supplies, and a place to stay. I'd bring records, just be on the safe side, and any special medications, they should definitely bring those as well. And across the border, a fast-moving wildfire scorched the town of Jasper, Alberta, and the largest national park in the Canadian Rockies. Thousands of people, including tourists, forced to flee as the fire caused significant damage. In Washington, I'm Michael Yoshida reporting. Closer to home now, the City of Pasco and Franklin PUD crews are working to repair a snapped power line. This happened in a neighborhood just off of Sylvester Street this afternoon. The call for help first came in around 2.30. It is unknown at this time if that snapped power line caused a fire, but officers with the Pasco Police Department and deputies with the Benton County Sheriff's Office helped close down roads to make sure crews had enough room to work. We will post an update later tonight on this situation at AppleValleyNewsNow.com. Well, Water Follies is just around the corner, and tomorrow is the kickoff of the three-day event. Yeah, Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma has information as to how the air show pilot navigates through smoky skies and how flying has a special place in her heart. Water Follies is here, and I was able to speak with this year's A-10 aircraft pilot, which is her first year flying for the Water Follies show. This is what inspired her to fly. I wanted to be flying an airplane that supported the men and women on the ground, so its primary mission is close air support uh, and having a dad and a brother that uh, served in the Army. Uh, it was something that was like near and dear to my heart. Major Lindsay Johnson, the A-10 demo team commander and pilot, says she will be flying all three days of the event. And with these smoky skies from fires from around the region, this is how she determines if it's okay to take off. Really, the biggest thing for us, for me to be able to go fly, I need to have at least 1,500 feet uh, ceilings to be above 1,500 feet at least three miles of visibility and I need a discernible horizon. So that's the hard part with fires like this is the discernible horizon. So I'm hoping at least based off what I've seen forecast wise that we've got uh, a good weekend ahead of us. This is also the last year that Water Follies will have the A-10 aircraft part of its air show. The reason for that is because the Air Force is retiring the A-10 demo plane. Reporting in Pasco, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. Thank you, Monique. Now, the city of Walla Walla has decided to wait on deciding whether to charge people extra to pay with plastic. Right now, there's no charge to use a credit or debit card to pay utility bills, recreation fees for things like youth sports, pool admission, and more. But somebody has to pay a processing fee every time you pay with a credit card rather than a cash or a check. And right now in Walla Walla, officials say those fees are costing the city hundreds of thousands of dollars every year. If we wanted to break even, how much would the, the percentage fee we'd have to charge on utilities be? Approximately 5.7%. I'm very supportive of the fee, but if we're going above 2%, boy, that's going to take some convincing. I'm in favor of doing as much percentage to recoup exactly what our costs are, because I think it's unfair to the taxpayers to um, supplement people who are using the credit cards. Now, officials say more than half of the money coming into the city last year was from credit or debit card payments, but the associated fees cost the city nearly a million dollars. Again, the city, city council decided last night to wait on making any change. Now to a major consumer alert. One of the largest airliners in the U.S. will soon change the way it does seating assignments. Apple Valley News Now's Lucy Lobdell explains. After 53 years of offering passengers the ability to choose their own seats, Southwest Airlines is ushering in a new era for its boarding process. Southwest will be assigning seats as well as offering premium seating on all flights. 
The Dallas-based carrier announced several new initiatives on Thursday, billing the redesigned boarding model as enhancements to transform customer experience and improve financial performance, stating in a press release that adding a sign and premium seating meets evolving customer preferences. Southwest President and CEO Bob Jordan previously hinted at the possible change back in April, saying at the time that the move will be a transformation that cuts across almost all aspects of the company. Southwest has not yet said when the seating changes will go into effect, but plans to provide more details on the product designs, cabin layout, and timing at its investor day in late September. Reporting for Apple Valley News Now, I'm Lucy Lobdell. All right, Lucy, we uh, thank you for that. By the way, shares of all major airlines dipped before the opening bell today. Southwest Airlines fell 6% and American fell 7%. Still ahead here at 6.30, how some people are turning to robotic pets to not be lonely. We'll have that story in just a few minutes. But first, Riley will return with your first alert forecast. We'll be right back. Jessica Jalol and Jill Sperling. Good morning, Northwest. Weekdays on your side. I'm Jared Sessler, a Navy veteran, job creator, candidate for Congress, and I approve this message. It was a great honor to receive President Trump's endorsement. And unlike my opponent, Dan Newhouse, who joined Democrats to impeach President Trump, I'll be a strong ally for the MAGA agenda. But an even greater honor would be to earn your support. I took an oath to this country when I began my military service, and I kept it. And I'm asking for your vote so I can take that oath once more and serve in serving Congress as the conservative we deserve. Wild Horse Resort and Casino is shifting into high gear with the $160,000 Ultimate American Road Trip. Win free play, gas cards, or cruise your way up to $50,000 cash every Friday and Saturday. Earn entries every day and multiply them on select Mondays. Then, on July 27th, win a new Harley Davidson motorcycle. Wild Horse Resort and Casino. More winners, more often. Adelante. At last, we can finally have someone who understands us in the state Senate. Maria Beltran understands us because Maria is from Yakima. The daughter of immigrant parents, she's lived the challenges in our community. She'll fight for us hardworking people, so there's more work with better pay. Maria Beltran, so finally the state Senate will have a fighter for Yakima and for us. Maria Beltran, adelante. This is Lucky 13. 13 questions are all that stand between tonight's contestants and up to $1 million. Gina Rodriguez and Shaquille O'Neal host Lucky 13. New tonight on ABC. Struggling with persistent pain? Board certified physiatrist Dr. Ralph Larezo is now caring for patients at Prosser Memorial Health's Prosser Clinic. Dr. Lorezo brings over 30 years experience in physical medicine and rehabilitation, specializing in the management and treatment of acute and chronic pain conditions. Start a new path in restoring your quality of life and ask your primary care provider about making a referral to see Dr. Lorezo. This is how we care. Why buy a mattress from Mattress Depot USA? Low prices. Every day, we beat any competitor's price. Selection? All sizes and brands like Sealy, Stearns & Foster, Tempur-Pedic. Customer service. Our sleep specialists average 10 years in the industry. Check out our reviews. Comfort guarantee? 120 nights worth. Same day delivery. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Local? Born here, live here. Come see us today. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Tiffany Smiley is not who she says she is. Tiffany Smiley started a PAC claiming to raise money to support conservative candidates, but contributions were funneled to pay off her own million dollar campaign debt. Of the almost $800,000 she raised, only 24,800 went to candidates. Instead, Tiffany used the money on luxury travel and to try to pay off her massive debt. Tiffany Smiley deceived her donors. Don't let her deceive you. I'm Dan Newhouse and I approve this message. Time to talk about back to school and new at 630. You know, this year, Valley Mall and Union Gap will show their back to school spirit by hosting a back to school bash. They are inviting the community to come out to enjoy local food vendors, win prizes and check out exotic animal expert Corbin Maxey perform his famous show. Now, the bash happens Saturday, August 10th this year from 1 till 5 p.m. The event will be right outside the mall on the main drive aisle. 
Corbin's show starts at 4 p.m. It is totally free to attend with food available for purchase. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Riley Fitzgerald. Happy Thursday, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day so far. This is our Legends Casino Skycam in Toppenish. We're also seeing pretty bad air quality there with some heavy smoke. So let's take a look at what's ahead for your day today. Continued smoke, but luckily our temps are on a little bit of a break. This time last week, triple digits, but luckily we're seeing upper 70s, mid to lower 80s right now. So that's one good thing. Wind is also settling down tonight. Let's take a look at our current air quality. As the day continues, we've kind of seen it get a little bit worse. So in Yakima right now, unhealthy air quality, unhealthy to sensitive groups heading into the Tri-Cities and moderate most elsewhere. But if we take a zoom out, we see these parts of Idaho are unhealthy as well. Down here below Umatilla and Morrow counties, we're seeing that unhealthy air quality. There are significant wildfires burning across the region. So we're seeing that impact our air quality. So if we head back a little locally and switch over to our various weather alerts in the region, let's take a look at this yellow one. That's our air quality watch until five o'clock tomorrow. At the very least, we're going to be seeing an air quality watch through much of our region, Yakima County, Benton County, Umatilla and Morrow County. And that is due to wildfire smoke causing those unhealthy air quality conditions as we've been talking about. This pink one, we're seeing a fire weather warning. That's until 9 o'clock tonight in the Lower Palouse and Snake River areas. And that's because of strong winds, low humidity, and warm temps that are aiding fire behavior. So that's something to be aware of. Potentially more wildfires burning in that region. Let's take a look at our future cast tonight as our day continues. Our clouds clear out. It's pretty nice out there, dry and clear. As we get into tomorrow afternoon, we may see some cloud coverage, but won't stay for too long. Heading into Saturday, potential for some more clouds as well, but otherwise staying dry and mostly clear. Futurecast for our wind speeds. We're seeing as the night continues, our winds start to lower as heading into Friday night in the Yakima area and the Kittitas area. We are going to be seeing winds pick up a little bit, otherwise staying low across the region. Our temperatures this evening, we're seeing mid to upper 70s, lower 80s on the forecast right now. So definitely cooler than this time last week. Last week, we saw triple digits. This week, not so much. We're in, again, 70s and 80s right now. So good thing for most of us. It was really nice outside if you headed outside. Besides that air quality, it was otherwise beautiful conditions. Let's take a look at our temperatures for this evening. <laughs> Brisker than we saw maybe in the last couple of days for our overnights. Haze conditions as well with that smoke lingering mostly mid to upper 40s, lower 50s. Tomorrow, a little cooler than we've seen. We're seeing some 70s on the forecast, but mostly mid to lower 80s. Smoky sunshine on the forecast for your Friday. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast. As we get into the weekend, we are just below our average temperatures for this time of year, but we are going to be seeing upper 80s on the forecast for the next couple of days. Definitely haze continuing tomorrow. Let's take a look in the Tri Cities for our seven day forecast. Haze once again for our Friday. Our weekend is looking great. If you plan to get out to the water follies, we're not going to be seeing triple digits for the water follies this year like we did in previous recent years, but it is still going to be pretty hazy, so be careful if you're in those sensitive groups and you're heading outside. Seven day forecast for Walla Walla, very similar and nice conditions, a little bit lower than averages. So today we are looking nice and tomorrow besides a plenty of smoke across the region. If you're in any of those sensitive groups, be sure to stay safe. Nice weekend ahead. Hope that wildfire smoke leaves the area. Back to you too. Thanks, Riley. Well, believe it or not, loneliness is one of the biggest health risks our senior citizens are facing. And up next, an idea some senior citizens' homes have, with the help of a government agency, to combat that loneliness. Could it work for your loved one? We'll be right back. At Mattress Depot USA, we're sort of like matchmakers. We match your body needs and sleeping habits with the perfect mattress for you. Low price. 
mattresses every day. Mattress Depot USA. I learned the value of hard work right here in these fields as my immigrant parents pick crops. I graduated from Yakima Valley College and Gonzaga, worked for Congress and the state legislature. Now I'm running for state senate because we need someone who will fight for central Washington. We're losing good paying jobs and warehouses are closing. I'm Maria Beltran and I ask for your vote because our best days are ahead of us. Paid for by friends Maria Beltran. Tiffany Haddish, live on stage. You ever been in a club in a cute little outfit and you like, I got this for $22. I'm going to meet me a million dollar man in my $22 dress. No, you're not. Legends Casino Hotel Top Edish, Friday, September 13th. You be in here dancing, feeling all good and stuff. You raise your arm up and you got a big old hole in your armpit. Get tickets now at the Legends Gift Shop and Ticketmaster.com. Legends Casino, Friday, September 13th. Invest in yourself. That's all I'm saying. I have worked with Senator Curtis King for the past two years, and I know how much he cares about the constituents in his district. He is well respected by both parties. He is results oriented, and he works very hard for the district. We got to elect Curtis King. He has a proven record. We're very lucky to have him as a representative in the Senate. There is no better candidate for the job than Senator Curtis King. I'm Senator Curtis King, and I'd appreciate your support. Thank you. Enjoy bowling here at Triple Play, where fun is always in season. French fries are fun, which is always in season here at Triple Play. Speaking of fun, did you know it's always in season at Triple Play? Dude, what's with dropping the tagline? The marketing ladies wanted me to push it. What did they offer you? Five pizzas. Gonna share, right? Of course. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, including go-karts, mini golf, and many more, all attached to a cozy hotel. Oh, thanks. Hmm. Well, it's almost election time. Typical politicians trying to tell us they're conservative. Yeah, well, that's not Congressman Newhouse. He worked with the liberals to try to remove Trump. And don't get me started on that Sessler. He's not just a vegan. Sessler wants a 30% tax on everything we buy. Even my haircut. Even my beer. He wants 30% if I want to buy new land. So the choice is a never Trumper or a vegan. Tiffany Smiley. Oh, Smiley's the one. I really like her. MWSA Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertising. An affordable, adjustable bed for Mattress Depot USA will help you sleep better. And help alleviate aches and pains, sleep apnea, and snoring. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Josh Cobra, first alert weather on Good Morning Northwest from Apple Valley News Now on your side. Welcome back. Well, you might think the biggest health issues facing the elderly would be things like heart disease and cancer, but it turns out one of the most important is loneliness. Yeah, in fact, social isolation carries a 50% increased risk of dementia and other serious medical conditions. The state of New York has a unique high-tech solution to address the problem. Yeah, Alex Lascom reports. No vet services, no one uh, having to buy extra food for it. It's, it's great. 78-year-old Plattsburgh resident Terry Morris says he's had his animatronic cat, which he calls Tessie, for the last year after being approached by the Clinton County Office for the Aging. They were asking for volunteers last year, and I was here, and they said, we know you're good with cats, but you're not good with dogs, so... How about a cat? And I said, okay, let's do it. Morris is one of many thousands of New Yorkers that have received a lifelike pet, which comes in the form of a cat, dog, or bird. They're fun. They're, they're, you know, they are robotic, but they're, they're a really nice companion for people. It's a nice option for people to have. Darlene Collins, the director of the Clinton County Office for the Aging, says the state has given out more than 31,000 animatronics since the program started in 2018. She says the results from the program's first year showed a nearly 75% reduction in loneliness and in pain. And for Morris, a Vietnam veteran with PTSD, he says he's also noticed a difference after getting Tessie. There's times that I was glad to have the cat around. It was sort of relieve some of the tension. A furry robotic companion, Morris and his partner, Deborah Scott Henderson, recommend to others in the North Country. He's very calming and I love listening to cats purr. And he's got a nice purr. <laughs> Colin says the animatronic pets are paid for through the New York state budget. She says those interested can call their local office for the aging. All right, well, AARP and the National Council on Aging both offer programs nationwide to help seniors avoid issues related to loneliness 
and social isolation. Now, Austin, mm -hmm. we've been talking about this. The animals are a little bit un unsettling <laughs> to some of us. You know, as I was watching that piece, I was mm -hmm. kind of thinking, do you remember back in the day, Chuck E. Cheese had the yes. anima... They're giving Chuck E. Cheese. Yes. I'm thinking maybe a pet Roomba. A pet Roomba? Oh, that's People good. get really attached yes. to them. Yes. There you go. And All it cleans. Right. There you go. I like that. <laughs> All right. We're going to need to clean a lot of the air up because we're still dealing with some unhealthy conditions. Riley's got a final look at that. We'll be come right back. I'm Jared Sessler, a Navy veteran, job creator, candidate for Congress, and I approve this message. It was a great honor to receive President Trump's endorsement, and unlike my opponent, Dan Newhouse, who joined Democrats to impeach President Trump, I'll be a strong ally for the MAGA agenda. But an even greater honor would be to earn your support. I took an oath to this country when I began my military service, and I kept it. And I'm asking for your vote so I can take that oath once more in serving Congress as the conservative we deserve. Phones were made to help us connect, yet somehow they've made us less connected. Which is ironic, don't you think? We try to put our phones down, but we need to pick them up to see the menu. We can't watch something without also watching something else. Ironic. 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 But look, here's a phone company who wants you to use your phone less. That's ironic. Yeah, but in a good way. Let's find us again with Us Mode. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Traffic jam. Ugh. And I'm already late. Visit Fred's Appliance today and explore unbeatable deals. Step up to the all-in-one GE Profile laundry machine for just $21.98. It combines both washer and dryer functions into one sleek appliance, saving space and offering unmatched convenience. Automatically dispenses the right amount of detergent each load. And Wi-Fi connectivity allows you to control and monitor your laundry from anywhere, saving you time and effort. At Fred's, we sell appliances. Only appliances. Navigating a real estate transaction can be overwhelming, from finding the right property to navigating the closing process. That's why a successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process, an in-house marketing team to maximize your home's exposure, transaction coordinators to ensure accuracy throughout the transaction, and a network of local industry experts. With Windermere on your side, you can have peace of mind and confidence in your real estate journey. Join us for Hobby Vibes only at this year's Moxie Hop Festival. Let's celebrate! Our hop brewing community filled with tradition, celebration, community, family, food, vendors, and fun! There's over 15 acts on our family stage and five incredible bands in the best 21 plus beer garden. Meet up with old friends and connect with new at this year's Moxie Hop Festival, August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Communist China poses an economic and national security threat to America. And Dan Newhouse is the leader in Congress fighting for our security. Dan stood up to Communist China and wrote the bill to stop them from buying up American farms and ranches. And Dan's working to secure the border and stop the flow of deadly Chinese fentanyl through Mexico and into our communities. Where Joe Biden fails us, Dan Newhouse fights for us. I'm Dan Newhouse and I approve this message to stand up to Communist China and to secure our border. The Golf Forecast, sponsored by the Wild Horse Ladies Golf Classic, August 12th through the 18th. Welcome back. We're taking a final look at that very hazy forecast. It is so hazy outside. So let's take a live look outside right now. This is our Legends Casino. Sky came in toppinish. Mm. Hazy conditions. If you plan to go outside, maybe don't. Let's take a look at what's <laughs> ahead. <you> <laughs> Continued smoke. We've got hot temps that are on a break. So luckily a little bit lower than we have been seeing. Wind is also settling down this evening. Here's our current air quality across the region. It's unhealthy for many of us unhealthy for sensitive groups in the Tri-Cities, moderate in Walla Walla. So that's something to be aware of. If you plan on getting out there, it's going to be haze and conditions like these for probably a little bit, maybe the next couple of days. Temperatures right now, upper 70s, lower 80s. And here's a quick look at what we're seeing tomorrow, mostly in mid 80s across the region. So that's what it's looking like. Well, that's <laughs> one benefit, right? One benefit, <laughs> great conditions or great temperatures, just those hazy skies. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Riley, and thank you for watching. We'll see you back tonight at 11.